Okay guys, so we're getting six yards of soil coming in uh, this week. So we went out and bought a gorilla cart. So Connor Ward uh, has one of these and I believe Alan Hain has one of these as well. And these things I've heard are awesome. I mean, just look, watching the video about how they work looks like they're awesome. So we're going to put this together and uh, yeah, see how it works. Okay guys, so I guess we would consider this kind of found footage type of thing. Uh, this was recorded just after Canada Day in early July when uh, we were supposed to be getting a lot of soil and stuff delivered and I was going to do a series of videos on it kind of never got around to doing it but I still had the clips of me taking it out of the box so I figured while we're in the winter here might as well take the time to explain it to you guys and how it works you guys know that like strong plasticky like new car kind of smell it's definitely got it. So this specific model is the seven cubic feet edition. So this is pretty damn big. I think, you know, I could probably sit in it. You know how some companies got the little touches? The fact that the wheels say Gorilla Cart, pretty darn cool. So first of all, anybody getting a large amount of material, like three yards of soil or something, I would definitely recommend getting this Gorilla Cart. Uh, we specifically used it for three yards of soil, three yards of mulch, and it allowed us to complete three yards of soil, three yards of mulch in about six hours, which normally with a wheelbarrow took about three days. Here's something that's really interesting, guys. For those of you who aren't too great at putting stuff together, the steps in the instructions, step one, two, three, four, five, are labeled with the parts that you need for each step. So each step's parts are separated in this piece of plastic. So I, I think that's a really good idea. Instead of just separating the parts, why not separate them per step? And then there's no uh, opportunity to mix up parts while you're putting it together. Here's another thing, guys. It's just a little thing, but the fact that these uh, bolts here have square heads, so they sit right in there, so you don't have to put a screwdriver in or anything, or it helps them from ripping out later. That's what I find with a lot of cheap wheelbarrows is the uh, bolts will rip right out the bottom of the wheelbarrow. So that, that, that's a really good touch. I like that. So a couple other things I like about it. One, I really like the versatile hitch. So the fact that the hitch can be pulled kind of similar to a wagon, but then it can also be transformed into the tractor hitch for the back of your lawnmower. Uh, I have another cart that I built by myself, more of a flatbed cart, and we still use that. But part of the problem is you have to get wrenches out to switch out the hitch and that is really annoying after a while sometimes it leads you to just not switch out the hitch at all secondly uh, the dump feature is really nice because those wheels move back in as i'll show you in the future uh it allows the cart to tip quite easily and saves you from kind of having to yank it out one of the things that i don't like when it tips is a lot of times there's a little bit of soil left in the bottom but that's the same with a wheelbarrow anything that dumps you just have to get that rake in make sure to scrape it out overall build quality really great solid hasn't have anything uh, that we're worried about breaking it um, I sat in it my sister sat in it and we towed it around behind the lawnmower and it didn't even budge so the build quality is really great everything's strong cast iron uh, painted and then uh, the plastic is also very high quality uh, tough plastic the handle is very tough as well. I really can't see anything on this thing breaking. Winter storage, also very good. What we did this year is we just took the wheels off, flipped it upside down, and popped it up in the rafters in the garage. So definitely, if you're looking for a wheelbarrow alternative, this would be one of my best Here we suggestions. Go, folks. It's all done. It's all put together. Now, here's the really cool feature. Let me move it out of the sunlight a little bit. Here's a really cool feature about the Gorilla Carts that I really like. Watch this back tire when I go ahead and dump here. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but that back tire actually moves in as you lift this back up. So what that does is it helps you actually dump the cart itself because you're not only lifting it on the rotation of the tire, but as the tire is rotating, it's pushing the cart back as well. So it helps you lift that cart up. So overall guys, I'm super happy with the cart. Uh, it's extremely well built. I definitely think it will stand up to the test of time. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see it in action. I'll be filming a bit of the use of, that we're using of it with the soil and stuff and the mulch that we're supposed to be getting. 
uh, on Monday. So I'm going to be filming it in action coming up so you'll be able to see uh, how it works. I'll be doing a full review on the Gorilla Cart coming up in a few weeks. But I, I, when I do reviews, I like to use it for a while first before I can actually put a distinct review on if I like it or not. So, but my first impressions are great. It's awesome. Uh, it's super well built. It dumps. It can definitely fit a ton of soil and stuff in it. And really happy to start using it soon. So from the Great Green North, my name is Warden Murray. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped you. Leave a comment down below if you've ever used a Gorilla Cart before or if you know about Gorilla Carts. And uh, yeah, keep, uh, subscribe down below if you want to see the full review of the Gorilla Cart. And keep it green.